In the previous lesson, we discussed situations which led to a drift. You intend moving in a certain direction, say AB, but due to the river current, you end up at some other location, in this case C instead of B. In this lesson, we will make a vector representation of the velocities, and that way, when it comes to solving a numerical problem, your understanding will be a lot deeper. Once we have made a vector representation, then it is just a matter of geometry and mathematics that we have to deal with, not physics. So the key is to get the vector diagram right. The boat is being steered from point A to point B. This is our desired or intended direction. The current in the river causes the deviation from this path. This vector pointing from A to B or V B with respect to R is the velocity of the boat with respect to the river. So this represents our intended or desired direction. If there was no current in the river, then the boat would have ended up at B, but due to the river current, it ends up at C. The vector VR represents the velocity of the current in the river, and this is with respect to the ground. This points to the right here, since the current is flowing towards the right in this case. The greater the current, the longer will be the vector VR. In the absence of a current, the length of VR will be zero, in which case the lines AC and AB will coincide. Now we have two vectors, the velocity of the boat with respect to the river and the velocity of the river which is with respect to the ground. Let's begin with the basic relative velocity equation. Vb with respect to r equals Vb minus Vr by definition of the relative velocity. Rearranging, we get Vb equals Vb with respect to r plus Vr. So we do not have any subtraction in the vectors. That would mean that in adding the vectors VB with respect to R and VR, which we already know, we get the resultant vector as VB. Now this resultant vector, VB, represents the velocity of the boat with respect to the ground. So this is the actual path taken by the boat as seen by a stationary observer on the ground. The boatman is steering the boat from A towards B, but the stationary observer sees the boat moving along line AC. From this vector representation, it is quite clear that VR, the velocity of the river with respect to the ground, pushes VB away from VB with respect to R. In the absence of the current, the vector VR would disappear and the vectors VB with respect to R and VB would coincide, which means that in the absence of the river current, the boat will move along line AB and the intended direction and the actual destination would be identical. So let's simulate that case. Now there is no current and you can see that the boat reaches the intended destination B. As you have a current, the boat begins to drift. And if there is a large current, then the boat begins to drift even more and ends up at C. It is interesting to note that the vector VB with respect to R does not change as the river current changes, since that represents 
the intended direction. Its magnitude also remains the same since the boatman puts in the same amount of effort. But the vector vr will change based on the river velocity. The greater the river velocity, the greater will be the length of vr and therefore the greater will be the length of vb, the velocity of the boat with respect to the ground. The velocity of the boat with respect to the ground is a vector addition of the velocity of the boat with respect to the river and the velocity of the river. If we represent the velocity of a boat with respect to the river and the velocity of the river in a vector diagram, the resultant will be the velocity of the boat with respect to the ground. The velocity of the boat with respect to the ground represents the actual path of the boat as seen by a stationary observer on the ground. Mm -hmm.